everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Laura and welcome. Um, before I go ahead and start, I do want to say thank you for all the support and I do appreciate everyone's patience. I understand I haven't posted in the past three weeks. I had to take some time off, I had to finish up on some finals, and I just want to spend some quality time with my family. So I do hope everyone understands that, um, but other than that, I hope everyone's excited as well, because today I will be doing another clothing haul on one of my favorite brands, recently favorite brands, Revolve. Now these are items that are transitional, it can move towards spring and summer, and you can also switch it up and make it for fall as well. Um, yeah, everything's gonna be in the description box. If you guys have any questions or just wanna drop by and say hi, feel free to comment down below um, and like and subscribe. I also have an Instagram account right over here if you guys wanna follow me on that platform. I do try to post out for the day pics and style inspo if you guys are interested in that. <laughs> Without further ado, let's just get started. And so the first item I'm going to show you guys is this knit halter top by Musée Paris. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. <laughs> but excuse me if I'm not. Um, it is in an ivory cream color here, and it's made out of a wool mixed material, so keep that in mind if you don't like wool fabric. Some people can um, feel like that is itchy against the skin, so keep that in mind. Um, I like it though, it's not too bad. Uh, it is a nice flowy fabric. It does seem like it can stretch out, so keep that in mind, you might want to size down. I did get this in a size 36, which is equivalent to size four. Um, I've been looking for a nice halter top that's plain, but you know, a little different than the normal rib neck halter tops that you do see in um, like Aritzia or Brandy Melville. So this one's definitely different. You could pair it with jeans or you could pair it with slacks, a nice slip midi skirt um, to give that elegant, elevated Parisian look. But yeah, I absolutely love it and I'm excited to wear this for this summer. And you'll can see in my next clip that I paired it with um, a pair of jeans. So I'm gonna show you is the Cassia knit bralette here. Um, it's gonna be a knit fabric and an ivory cream color. You know me with my whites, ivory and black colors. I just find it versatile when pairing it with other things. But yeah, I thought this is perfect for spring, summer, especially if you don't want to wear a full on top, but you could always layer on with a button up on top of it. So I've really been into these crop tops and bralettes to just pair it on with button ups. It gives you that chic look. Um, so I got in this matching um, top. The, the pants that they paired it with is the Cassia Knit Pant. Um, but I think you could wear it on its own for either item. And it's also in an ivory cream color here. And it's full length. I am 5'9", so this one hits me at the ankle. Um, it's a pretty thick material, so comfy though, and stretchy. So I recommend probably signing sizing down you might see it on reviews as well i took my true size just because i know my weight fluctuates up and down sometimes so i think the medium fit me perfectly um but yeah um i did get a size medium in both items actually no size medium in the pants and the small on the top just because like i mentioned in the previous clip i'm not that heavy on the bust area here so i definitely sized down on the bralette Anyways, I paired it on my next clip together just to show you how it looks together, but you could honestly pair this with other things, with slacks or um, cotton shorts. I know those oversized cotton shorts are in right now, and I honestly just think this is very versatile and perfect for spring and summer. If you do have a colder summer or spring weather, I do recommend just throwing on a button up or um, a blazer even, and yeah, you're good to go. <laughs> so much that I got the black version of it as well but these I believe are called the Cadence 
I am reading off my phone right now. These are called the Caden Knit Pants, um, but still the same. It's a slightly different material. Still stretchy though and full length. And yeah, same material. So I would probably size down again on this. I did still get medium just because my weight fluctuates. So if you're comfortable with your shoe size, go for it. Um, but other than that, I want to get the black version as well just because it's so comfy, versatile, and you could just pair it with a button up. I think you could totally pull this off wearing it to the office as well or just for casual brunch. Like I said, it's versatile and I love these pair of pants. Um, I don't think I mentioned the price on the other item. I think they're about the same. This one is $178, so it is a little bit on the pricier side, but I'm telling you guys right now, it is so worth it. I wear this all the time. <laughs> but yes, I hope you guys love it. I did pair it with a bralette and a button up. Um, like I've said on the previous video, you could definitely switch it up for more formal or casual wear. A blouse um, this one in particular is by song of style it is called the let me see Kelso short and I got it in a size medium so it is a little bit of an oversized fit but honestly I feel like I could have sized up just because I felt like it was a little tight in this area here but then again I do have a long torso so for me to like pull it up and want it to be high waist it's probably a little tight in that area but then that it fits me in all the right places otherwise um, I'm still gonna keep it I love it it's utility on it the fabric seems like I can't describe it but it seems like more of a utility type of fabric so I don't mind getting this dirty or not worrying too much about this when I'm wearing it and styling it together with other items um, it's also stretchy I did see on a few reviews that some people or at least just one individual in particular was complaining about it being wrinkly I don't think it's that bad especially depending how you're using it you could easily um, steam it off other than that I recommend it guys it's good for um, summer and spring right now especially these type of shorts are in right now it gives you that 90s kind of like safari feel <laughs> and then like i said i paired it with a blouse unfortunately i did pack that up already because although i loved it it's i don't think i'll get a lot of wear out of it one it only has one button detailing so it is called the ricky blouse by alcademy and i got it in a size medium i love the de the lace detailing we see on the next video i love that i love the color i just feel like i wouldn't wear it as much um it seemed a little too deep in the v-neck area here it's in Especially that it only has one button. That's another thing to take into consideration But if you want to wear a bralette with it and just you love that color, and you know, you could wear it a lot Then I would recommend it. Um, but I didn't think it was worth it for me um, But yeah, you guys let me know what you think it is $108. So I was like, uh, I think I'll pass on this one um, But I styled it still with those shorts just to show you guys what it looks like if you guys are interested This is the 90s mid-rise loose fit denim and they are in the color snapshot I got them in a size 27 so that's equivalent to a size US 4 um, similar to all the reviews on the website I'd recommend sizing down I recommend sizing down one size if you are on the curvier side if you're more petite then I recommend sizing down two now it really depends on what type of fit you're trying to achieve if you want more of the boyfriend fit like you see in the picture on the website then I recommend just sizing down one size if you want it to fit you perfectly um, then size down twice <laughs> that's my recommendation other than that I wear this all the time I honestly love it 
It's hard for me um, having an hourglass figure where I have a tiny waist and bigger hips to find a pair of jeans that fits me well. This one fits me all in the right places. It gives me just a slight wiggle room around the waist, but other than that, I love it. It has stretched out um, slightly, but not overly, um, which you'll see on my next video. I paired it with a tank top just so you can see the jeans itself and how versatile it is. You can easily pair it with heels or um, a blazer as well. They do sell it on other sites such as um, Aritzia and Free People if you're looking for a particular color or sizing or you could just go straight to the A Goldie site. In my ca case, from my experience, I've always went to Revolve or a secondary uh, boutique store if I'm looking for a particular color or size. I also have this in the color paper. Um, which I also love. It's a nice ivory color, but it's about the same fit. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions with the sizing from my Goldie, feel free to comment down below. I'd be happy to help you guys out. show you is this oversized double-breasted blazer right over here by Lacademy and I got this in a size medium. Now on the description it does say it's a khaki color but for me it kind of looks like a taupe color which I even love more so. It has a satin detailing um, double lining inside so that's nice too. But yeah it gives you that 90s men's blazer boss type of oversized look which I love. It's very in right now. You can easily pair this with jeans or slacks or dress it up going to the office or just putting it with jeans and heels and dressing it down to have that casual brunch look. I absolutely love this blazer. I wear it all the time. <laughs> this is one of the few oversized blazers that I wear a lot and yeah I definitely recommend going true size if you want the oversized look but if you want to size down to have a more fitted look you can certainly do that with this um, item here. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I have linked it in the description box. It is currently on sale right now, so I recommend it if you guys are interested. I'll be showing you is a co-ord set. It's by Song of Style and it has a matching kind of cardigan top here and it's called the Haze Top in a size medium. And what drew me to this item is it's, off, it's apparent um, color block detail here. You do have a split detailing between a cream color and a khaki green color. So I feel like it gives you that earthy vibe, earthy tones, which is all I'm about, including just neutral ones. And I love the button detailing here. It does have a certain stone type of buttons here that, again, bring you back to this earthy feel. Um, it's very comfortable as well. And like I said, I did get a matching pair of pants with it. This pair of pants is called the Izzy Pant, but it's actually its matching pair. And again, it has a split clean cut detailing uh, between this color black of khaki and beige. And again, it's so comfortable. It gives you that relaxed vibe. You could definitely pair it with heels or sneakers to, what, um, to give you choices if you want to uh, dress it up or down. And yeah, I absolutely love it. I did pair the cardigan with regular slacks and heels just to give you its versatility and you can also wear it to the office. But yes, absolutely love it. It's comfortable. I recommend going true to size if you guys are interested in this. It's very unique. And they still have some available sizes on the website. So the next outfit I'll be showing you is by L'Academy and it is called the Thea Jumpsuit. 
and it's in this nice gray color with a thick waffle knit material here. I would say it's perfect for springtime and those cool summer nights or days, depending where you're from. I honestly wear this all the time, especially because I get cold easily, but I also get hot easily. So this is a perfect layer that you could put on without adding more layer to it or feeling too hot in it. It's absolutely comfortable. It's full length. You do have a button detailing that goes halfway to the waist down. And if you are worried that you're going to look boxy or it's going to be too oversized on you and not accentuate your figure, then keep in mind that there is a tie detailing here, almost like a robe type of um, tie that you could tie together and it'll cinch your waist. So something to keep in mind, I absolutely love that option there. And then yeah, it's perfect again for dressing up and down. You can pair it with heels if you'd like, or for me, I just wear it with sneakers. This is the type of outfit I just throw on when I don't want to put anything together. You could also add on a, um, an accent necklace to just dress it up a little and tie your hair in a bun. But yes, I wear this all the time. I highly recommend it. I did get a size small, so keep that in mind. One of the reviews said it does run a little bit oversized. I probably would have gone medium if it was available to me, but the small fits perfect as well. It does uh, drag a little bit past my foot. Um, so I'm 5'9", so keep that in mind for you guys who are not, who are under my height. But yeah, love it, recommend. It's on sale right now. There are a few sizes left and it's going for $160 for sale, okay? So yeah, recommend and let me know what you guys think. show you is my absolute favorite I would say out of the whole collection it is by free people which is funny because I it's probably the first item I purchased since high school from them and they definitely upgraded since then and it is called the Laura dress which is like it's made for me because it has my name right <laughs> but it is this beautiful tea combo color with this nice floral detailing it does say on the website that's an ivory color but to me it looks almost like a lemon yellow a very mute lemon yellow pastel colors but like you've seen on my other um youtube videos i typically don't go for colors besides neutral earthy tones so this is out of my element here but this is the one exception honestly it complements my skin tone and it just screams spring and summer and running into the meadow sound of music vibes <laughs> it is full length so keep that in mind it has a nice satiny flowy material which is very lightweight especially for those warm summer days and i absolutely love it keep in mind it's a little bit of a deep v neat, um, deep v neck detailing and then also has a backless uh detailing in the back with straps as well to adjust but yes i could have probably sized down um i got a size medium but those there were a few available sizes left do i would i return if there was a size small probably not since i've worn it already but um something to keep in mind if you do want to size down i am light in the bust area so that's why i would probably size out and i also have a tinier waist but other than that i think it works well with me and this is one of the best purchases that I would have gotten um, for this collection here. Highly recommend it. I believe right now it's going for $148 and there may still be a few sizes left. So I will go ahead and link it in the description box, guys. It is by Song of Style and it's called the Rain V Neck Sweater right over here and it's in this nice ivory color. It's pretty, I would say mid-weight on like the thick spe spectrum there. I did get it in size extra large just because the only available sizes that were left last time I checked was small and extra large and one review did say to go up a size just because if you went true to size or a size down it would probably just be 
fit on you. It would probably fit perfectly on you, but if you want to achieve that oversized, relaxed look, I'd recommend sizing up a size or two. In that case, I only had those few available sizes, so I did go with an extra large. And you'll see in my next clip that it was actually perfect. It was, had that oversized look on me. I could easily put a button up inside as well to dress it up and give it some versatility. And you could definitely pair with different things, whether it's just sweats, denim, slacks, or even shorts, which you'll see in my next video. Highly recommend. I got it on sale for $96 versus $160. It's such a soft material, guys. This is like one of the purchases that's worth it. And usually with sale items, you're kind of like skeptic about it just because you're like, why is it on sale, right? <laughs> but this one, I highly recommend, guys. Um, have nothing but good things to say. video let me know which one was your favorite item or just drop by down on the comment section below just to say hi to me anyways um i hope you guys enjoyed it everything's gonna be linked in the description box as well as sizing and um, my height reference and weight reference etc if you guys have any recommendations for my next video uh please feel free to comment down as well below i also have an instagram account right over here if you guys want to follow me on that platform until then i will try to see you guys next week it is taking me a little longer to make these videos just because um i still want to spend time with my family and i still am a working mom guys <laughs> anyways i'll see you guys next week okay bye